How dare you speak to me like that? What kind of an audacity do you have? Don't you know who I am? I am the one entitled. It's me after all. How dare you not do what I said? How dare you defy me? How dare you go against me? How dare you? How? Oh. <laughs> Have you experienced such behavior from somebody in your life? <laughs> Have you seen somebody talking to you? Not always, but sometimes, those special times. <laughs> Then, most likely, you have been dealing with a narcissist. Most likely. So, if you do not know who is a narcissist, well, let me make it short for you. <laughs> if you are from India, you will be able to understand narcissism very well because of two personalities. I mean, there are many personalities in the epics, but... The two personalities who exemplify, they're like the epitome of all narcissism combined. It's like quadruple. It's like narcissism to the power narcissism in mathematics. Who are those two personalities? Well, there are many, but two primarily, they are the CEOs of two companies. Yes, which is the first company. It's DNC, Duryodhana and Company. He's none other than the chief executive officer. He's Duryodhan himself, the son of Gandhari and the Tarasht. And then we have RNC, Ravana and Company. <laughs> so Ravana and Duryodhan, they are perfect examples of narcissists. They are like, there, there is no, there will never be, there can be no better examples than narcissism so basically uh, what is narcissism it's like uh, how do you identify a narcissist there are many videos you can check out and i'm very sure you must have seen and uh, there's one word called gaslighting which narcissists do which was i think the most uh, frequently googled term of, of 2022 so i'm very sure you must be aware but in case you are not, then narcissism means, uh, how, do, how do you identify a, narciss a narcissist? A narcissist is a person who thinks uh, he or she is the center of the universe and everything should go as per his desire. Now, everybody thinks to some extent uh, that they are the center of the universe. Everybody actually thinks like that. So... Uh, in a sense, theoretically, everybody is narcissistic. You know, every, each and every human being is narcissistic to to some degree. But when we uh, classify somebody as a narcissist, then uh, it means you know that uh, this tendency, this sen and this sense of entitlement, this sense of feeling special for no reason has surpassed uh, the barrier of normal human interactions and that is uh, visible that's uh, that that can be felt in everyday interactions and uh, one of the most important uh, most frequently uh, identifiable symptoms of a narcissist is he's a big time bully okay so he will bully you so if you if you have got bullied ever then you might have dealt with the narcissist narcissist and uh, a narcissist will always, they will never in the thousand million years or at least the hundred years that they stay alive, they will never forget any of your weaknesses. So they will keep a note of your weaknesses and then they will wait for the time. When the time is right, they will strike, they will hit you hard. They will, uh, they will do gossip about you. They will try to pull you, your image down. They will try to spread poison. They will try to spread false news, fake information, all baseless, bogus, nonsensical information. They will spread about you without you even knowing sometimes. 
So you will think, oh, what the hell is happening? I mean, uh, why are people becoming against me? Uh, what's happening? And then after a year, you will realize, oh, so this was the person who was doing this. It's all gracious goodness of this person who was spreading all these vicious lies against me. And a narcissist is always envious. They are envious of everybody. And who is the who is the person they are most envious of? God himself. Because uh, the scriptures say, Parashar Muni says, you know, that God is one who has uh, six opulences in highest and more than uh, anybody else, uh, unlimitedly, for eternity. Okay. What is that shloka where Parashar Muni says that, right? And Srimad Bhagavatam categorically qualifies Lord Krishna as Swam Bhagavan. Bhagavatam says, Etih Chaam Sakala Pumsam Krishna Stu Bhagavan Swam. Because Lord Krishna exemplifies the six qualities of Parashar of, of being a Bhagavan, right? So let me see who can write it down in the comments. The six qualities of God which is, of course, present in every human being, but the condition is more than anybody else and in unlimited form and for eternity, all time to come. So, <clears throat> a narcissist is envious. They're like, you know, they're like uh, pitch dark snakes. You know, it's like they cannot tolerate. A narcissist cannot tolerate seeing anybody happy. There's another example of narcissism in the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Of course, every demon, every Rakshasa, I mean, uh, not by the group, but every Asura is narcissistic to a severe degree. But there was one example, there's another example uh, that's of Aghasur. Aghasur was this snake demon who came to kill Lord Krishna and the uh, cowherd boys, the Gopas. So what happened was, this Agasur, he came and he saw that these, you know, cowherd boys, you know, the Gopas, very small young boys, you know, they're just chilling around. They're just having a nice time going to the forest, going to the, um, going to the rivers, going, eating fruits, you know, just playing like very young boys, you know, like five years, six years. And then this demon Agasura, when he heard all these smiles, when he saw them being jubilant and being joyful, this demon lost his cool. He was like, oh my God, how dare do they enjoy so much? I will rip them apart to pieces with my teeth. And then, of course, we know the rest is history. He was obliterated by Lord Krishna. Shri Krishna Bhagavan Ki Jai. <laughs> so, the thing is, a narcissist cannot, they cannot, they will die, but they cannot see you happy. And the more you are close to them, the more they will pull you down without you knowing. Or maybe in worst case, you may come to know about it. So, <clears throat> it's very easy to spot a narcissist. So, uh, let me... Let me find something, you know, it's a very easy way to find out narcissism. So, I will go into a chat. Uh, just give me a second. I should have done this before. I'm sorry. <laughs> but wait for it. It's coming. All right. So, there is a girl from my school. She has, she's like, Filled with narcissistic qualities. I mean, so this is a text which she had sent me. 18th September 2018. All right. So that time my channel got around 10,000 subscribers. So I will tell you, I, I will read out the chat. It's interesting. So she's asking me a question. Suddenly, out of nowhere, 18th September 2018. Hi, we seldom talk, but I messaged you regarding a query. Do text back when you are free. And then I reply, hi, please tell me how can I help you? Then she replies, I want to know about your astrology. Did you 
you did any course or something you take consultation <clears throat> so then i said uh, yeah i have been into spiritual activities and meditation and all this since long time i opened a youtube channel last year which is 2017 I have around uh, 12,000 subscribers, maybe that time as I wrote, and about 500 videos. So here is one of my videos. So please have a look at it. <clears throat> uh, then she's asking me, teacher of mine wants to take consultation for her son. That's why I'm asking. Don't mind. Are you like certified or something? <clears throat> this is all fine. This is very normal interaction, but wait for the... <laughs> so then what happens? I say, I have learned from many ancient traditions, which unfortunately do not offer any certifications. Sure, I can give your teacher a reading. My focus is generally more on improving lifestyle and becoming happy from inside rather than just uh, predictions about marriage or career. Now, here's the bomb. <laughs> so then she writes, so I am giving her positive review from my side to her. Don't let me down. That's it. No no message. Nothing else after that. So this, this is an example where a person will command authority for no reason. The person feels entitled that anybody and everybody should just bow down to them. Okay, now I have nothing against this girl, but it's just as an example. Okay, this is not personal against anybody, but this is just to show you how a narcissist can behave sometimes. Okay. But now, uh, we also need to see how we can identify it using astrology. So, uh, it's basically uh, it's basically like a mental disease. You know, it's, it's not like some mental illness, but it's like, it's a very really weird form of disease. So, which is the house of disease? Now, you, in medical science, you can call it disease, disorder, or whatever, but it's something unnatural, basically, right? So, if you tell a good news to a narcissist, then uh, they will pull, they will uh, do something by which you will feel that, oh, my news is not that great enough. <laughs> so, for example, uh, this another lady that I am aware of. <laughs> So, <clears throat> um, she's my wife's friend. So, she was uh, my wife was having a talk with her. And then, uh, yeah, she told uh, her that, you know, oh, yeah, we, we had gone to Berlin um, in 2021. And, you know, it was like, uh, we had a nice time there. There was this monument, that monument. And then this girl, uh, she couldn't tolerate that somebody has gone to a nice place called Berlin in Europe. So what did she end up doing? She said, oh, but what's the big deal? You know, monuments are there in India also. <laughs> India has Taj Mahal, right? <laughs> so this is another example of narcissism. They will try to belittle you always. Okay, these are very small examples. You know, they're like so small that you can ignore sometimes, but they're filled. It's like... A river, it's like an ocean is like uh, coming up sometimes, right? It's like uh, the tip of the iceberg comes up sometimes, right? So that's how we identify narcissists. Uh, and using astrology, <clears throat> as I said, which is the house of disease or disorder? It's the sixth house. So the Lagna Lord, sixth house, sixth Lord, there has to be some connection. And we know which are the Dustana houses. So basically what happens is a narcissist is a person who is 24 by 7 insecure. Insecure about what people think they are. But who people think they are. A narcissist has zero interest in uh, improving uh, herself or himself. But a narcissist wants to improve his image always. A narcissist may or may not improve himself. Actually, internally, but my God, image management, that you should learn from a narcissist. So once you go there, so you, you know that the person is insecure. So the person has this insatiable need to, uh, how do I say this? <laughs> to prove and to keep that status quo always, right? So then what happens is, 
the eighth house has to be involved because the eighth house is the house of insecurity. The eighth house is the house of Scorpio. The eighth house is the graveyard. The eighth house is the house where moon goes into Maran Karakstan. Moon goes to die. Right? And which is the Maran Karakstan for the sun? It's the twelfth house because it's the house of renunciation and loss to the ego. So <clears throat> if the Lagna Lord uh, has uh, very strong connections uh, with the Dustana houses, okay, then uh, there can be narcissism. Why? Because, and that too provided they are badly placed. Okay, So for example, if the Lagna Lord is in 6th, 8th or 12th or the 12th uh, Lord is in the Lagna, 8th Lord is in the Lagna, 6th Lord is in the Lagna. <clears throat> now, millions of people will have these placements, uh, but that doesn't mean everybody is narcissistic. Uh, so now, just don't go around hitting people if you see, oh, I have this placement, I'm. but uh, you, you are a narcissist or he or she is a narcissist. Don't do that. That's another form of narcissism. <laughs> so don't fall prey into it. <clears throat> then we have to see uh, what is the situation of the moon, right? So if moon is afflicted by Saturn, especially Saturn, because Saturn gives you this feeling always that there's something lacking in you. You are not good enough. Now, a narcissist can have... Oops, there was a glitch with this Zoom. How dare this Zoom not work? <laughs> All right. So I was saying that if moon is afflicted especially by Saturn then uh, because as I said you know Saturn is uh, this uh, insatiable uh, feeling of being deprived then this can mean that there is some narcissism okay and as I told you that these will be there in people to some degree always but the more the worse the worse the situation gets you know, then sun is very important. So if sun or sun is in the 12th or 12th, sun is conjunct with the 12th Lord, uh, then again this can make things worse. And as I said, if moon is in the 8th or moon is with the 8th Lord, because these are like the Maran Karakstanas for <laughs> these two planets. And so then things can get worse. But suppose Surya, sun, <laughs> is also afflicted by Saturn or sometimes if Surya is also with Mars, then also this happens, you know, then the person can bully others, okay. Mm -hmm. So, these are some of the indications and along with that, if the fourth Lord is in debility and the Lagna Lord is also badly placed and along with this, if the moon is uh, in you know some kind of uh, pap kartri yoga or something like that and if the chart does not have any grace grace means you know uh, the ninth lord is not helping matters you know if the fifth lord is not helping matters you know, if jupiter is not helping so for example suppose a person has these uh, placements that we discussed but the lagna lord is receiving the aspect of Jupiter or <clears throat> is receiving or conjunct the fifth lord or receiving the aspect of the fifth lord or conjunct the ninth lord or receiving the aspect of the ninth lord or even sun and moon. <clears throat> now they are getting the aspect of Jupiter or sun or moon or maybe both of them they are placed in the fifth or ninth. <laughs> then uh, it can be possible that even after having uh, narcissistic traits, the person uh, may be able to keep them under control. Okay, and also Mercury is a very important plan because Mercury gives envy. So if Mercury is badly placed and is afflicted, uh, then also there can be envy sometimes. Okay, And especially if Mercury is in the sixth or conjunct the sixth lord or expected by the sixth lord, then... Uh, there can be envy always, okay. And also there are certain nakshatras, you know, which can give a lot of narcissism sometimes. But that's a topic of some other day. So this was an introductory video to narcissism. I have not you know, delved into this topic before, but if you like this video, then please let me know and click the thumbs up. And uh, I would love to make more content related to psych.
psychology and psychiatry, of course. Uh, using astrology nonetheless. All right. Thank you very much. If you don't like and smash the subscribe button, then I'm going to fire you. You don't know why I am. It's me after all. Now do it. Don't discuss. Bye for now.